Hello everybody, welcome to If I Can Do It, You Can Do It. Today I'm going to show you guys a real cool way of how to start your fireplace. You can even do this with your fire pits. But we're going to be using the top down method. And that's basically starting your fire from the top and letting it work its way down. You're not going to have to touch this thing for a few hours. It's just a seamless way to start a fire and it's the best way I think possible. And with that said, let's get right into it. Let's go. So for this fire, we're going to need a few different size of logs. We're going to have to start with some bigger logs, which you see right here, which are going to actually go on the bottom when we build this thing. And we have some medium sized logs, some smaller logs than the medium size. We're going to have to get our kindling, which are our smaller pieces of wood. And we're going to need some tinder, which burns very fast. And most importantly, let's not forget, safety first, safety first, safety first. Before you start, make sure your damper is open. You don't want smoke blowing back into your house. So open your damper. And then let's start building this sucker. Like I said, we start with the larger pieces of wood first. They go to the bottom. And if you can try to get some equal size, size pieces of the wood, that would be great. It makes it easier to, you know, just build. But um, it's the best I can do right here, but they're, they're pretty equivalent in size. So start with that, that's my base. It's pretty straightforward, I kid you not. We got the medium size logs here next. We're just gonna build this up. It's basically gonna be a triangle. Then I add my, uh, my smaller logs right here. I'm trying to get fancy and doing a log cabin, but um, my box in here, my fire pit, my fireplace box, is just small. So I'm just gonna do this regular. I add those little smaller pieces there. That's it. Add my kindling. And you know the kindling are the smaller little pieces of wood. So they're gonna like the bigger pieces, and etc., etc. And lastly, we add our tender. Now, this is just a cut up toilet paper roll or um, paper towel roll. Either or I save them all. And what you see inside of there, I'll show you, it's pretty cool. I take that little hole. You could do this with anything burnable, but I use some dryer lint because it's real, it's very flammable. You could put dry grass in there, newspaper, whatever. But I use dryer lint because I have an abundant supply of that. And, and honestly, this is it. This is your fire ready to go ready to be combusted <laughs> you are ready to light this sucker this is it like i said it's a it's a, it's a triangle you like that kindling i'm so it's, yeah i'm sorry you write that tent you like that tender and then it just it's just magic all the way down but what i'm going to do right now because it's negative nine degrees outside i'm going to prime my flu so i just take a newspaper light it up and i stick it up inside of the inside of the uh, hole there the flu hole and just let it rock out for about 15 to 30 seconds. Or if I pull this newspaper down, it comes back out with a flame. Because if I don't do that and I just light this fire, smoke is gonna go right back into my house, AKA into your house. So I'm trying to show you here that you can actually see the smoke going out of the um, damper hole or the flue. But hey, I'm gonna just stick it back up here again. Again, it's negative nine degrees and windy. It's brutal outside today. It's Connecticut winters, baby. Although we had a mild one, but not today. Look, I got a flame. I'm good to go. So I'm just going to take this and just just literally just touch that freaking dryer lint. It's so flammable. Clean your dryers, people. Clean your dryers. Look how easy I just light that and it just lights up. Barely touching it. Lights right up. I don't need that newspaper anymore, so I'll just dump that there. And guess what? That's it. You don't have to touch this thing anymore until you have to touch it, which is going to be for a while. And that's it. That's it. I kid you not. It's literally that easy. You're not going to have to go in here and play around and get this thing to start again or whatever. That's it. So right now it's 152 where we pretty much just lit this. And I'll see you guys in a few minutes. 
Here we are 20 minutes later. It's already looking good. I didn't touch anything. I lit it that first time and that's it. See how it's working its way down. I'll see you in a few. So now it's 50 minutes later at 3.02. So total of an hour and 10 minutes. So I'm just knocking down those little pieces of wood and you can still see there's flames in there. I got nice hot amber. I, this, is the, this is the first time I'm touching this right here. So I'm just gonna chop those down. And um, you know, fire likes fuel, fire and oxygen. So I grabbed this tool from the 1800s here, this old school swing low sweet chariot thing. Makes you want to be like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, just blow this sucker with some air and that flame is going to come right back up. As you can see that little fresh piece of wood looking at us right there. You know what? I think I'm going to flip this over. It's actually, it'll be like putting a new piece of wood in here. These are the, this is the same log I started with. So get that little quick flip, flip, flip. Try to get his boy back there. Grab my swing low sweet chariot. Give us some oxygen. That's it. It lights right back up. It just comes right back to life. Now here's two hours total time. We start at 152. It's 352. It's two hours later, and this is what I'm left with. I have one. No, what I got back there? I got this one log that was up front. The one we just flipped. And then there's his boy in the back, so he turned into to, 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 um, amber or some nice coal. And at this point, all you got to do is keep feeding this fire fuel and oxygen. Fuel and oxygen, and this sucker will burn all night. Fuel and oxygen. Here's my fuel. And here's my oxygen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my lord. No, I'm just joking. <laughs> Yo, that's it. That's all you got to do. Top down method is the way to start your fire and to keep your fire consistently going. I mean, it was really minimal work. And, and you guys know that you started a fire from the bottom and sometimes you have to fight with it. I mean, I, that, that's annoying. You get the fire going, you think everything's good. You walk away, go do something in the kitchen. You come back, your fire dead as hell. And you got to start from scratch. But the, but the wood is hot, so it's like hard to deal with. Then you got wood on top of it and it's real frustrating. This, my friend, just set it and forget it. Ron Peel style, that's it. And with that said, I am the amateur's amateur. This is, if I can do it, you can do it. You guys just started you a fire using the top-down method. Great job. I hope this video was informative. And thank you very, very much for viewing. Mm-hmm. 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 Oh, my love.